happy October. I'm gonna go through astronomy word of the week, space history, as well as must-see celestial events because it's already Wednesday and I had to send this out yesterday. Starting with astronomy word of the week, Mull APIN or APIN. This was actually the oldest astronomical catalog. Look at it. It was literally carved into stone. This is a Babylonian dating back all the way to the seventh century BC. It contains several references to events that happened thousands of years prior, which is super, super cool. Have you seen Venus yet? Also known as the evening star that was coined the name like centuries ago because it's usually the first star looking object in the night sky just after sunset. So during twilight, you got sunset, twilight, dusk, darkness. So perfect timing to catch Venus. October 7th, NGC 362. Now this is visible only from the Southern Hemisphere. So Northern Hemisphere friends, wait for next week. This is in the Tucana constellation. It's about 37 degrees above the Southern horizon. And from South America, so Chile specifically is where I put in my coordinates to calculate this. And it's starting at around midnight local time. Now jumping into space history. October 1st, 1847, Maria Mitchell discovered Miss Mitchell's comet, known as C1847 T1. October 1st, 1958, the National Aeronautic and Space Administration was formally inaugurated. October 4th, 1957, Sputnik 1 launched by the USSR. October 6, 1995 was the discovery of the first exoplanet ever found, known as 51 Pegasus B. October 7, 1793, Caroline Herschel discovered the comet Messier C1793S2. And this week on October 6 is the new moon. So perfect, perfect timing to go out and catch that Milky Way overhead. If you guys want to go to a deep sky observing location, this would be a perfect time to do it. Well, next week, I'll make sure to make my video early enough beforehand. Okay, bye.